Hello again from the Eurobike Show in Friedrichshafen, Germany. I'm John Stevenson with BikeRadar.com and I'm on the DT Swift booth with Marco Girani, who's going to talk us through some new wheels and forks from DC Swiss. Marco, good morning. Morning. Welcome at the DT booth and uh, pretty happy to show the Bike Radar readers uh, our new wheels and the new products for 2012 season. So uh, we're here in the road sector. We want to start with the completely new wheel system, which is called Die Cut. Die Cut wheel is a, stands for diamond cut. It's uh, based on the hop shape, the way it's machined. Basically, any, all the components are new. Starting on the rim, we have a specific carbon layup, which is deducing the, the heat into the whole rim. So it's more heat resistant and you can ride more aggressive in the descents especially important in the Alps or really long, hard descents. Continue into the spoke, we have uh, hidden nipples for aerodynamics and uh, a swirl lip, which is uh, reducing the air, swirl, air swirls, which come from, uh, from the wind in front wind situation and light side wind situations. So reduce drag, which is uh, obviously a benefit in the flat and uh, when going faster than uh, normal. We go into the straight pull spokes, which uh, have a nail head system that ensures the spoke can't twist under load and when riding hard, so it will always stay positioned perfectly for optimal aerodynamics and as, li as little drag as possible. What it also allows us uh, that we can position the spokes really far apart, so we have a, a bigger angle of the spoke, which in turn leads to a stiffer wheel, st uh, raised side to side stiffness, better acceleration, more precise steering. As well as being more laterally stiff, how do these compare in weight with the similar wheels in the market? In weight with similar wheels, it's pretty high up. So it starts at 1100 grams for the 32 mil tubular wheel set, which is uh, pretty competitive uh, if you talk about weight, stiffness, and uh, I guess we need to consider looks as well. It looks pretty clean and pretty tech. So, uh, and the lineup is a uh, 66, 46, 32 mil high rims, and both clincher and tubular versions available. So that's the die cut wheel lineup. Marco, tell us what's new with the Tricon wheel range. All right, uh, we're over here with mountain bike system wheels, the Tricon lineup, which is being uh, added new models every year. What we see here is the FX 1950 free ride enduro wheel set. It features a 30 mil tubeless, 30 mil wide tubeless rim. 30 spoke uh, lacing with open crowd foot pattern, which uh, produces a laterally very stiff wheel set and uh, really tough rim alloy. So it's really for flat out descending and uh, maybe easy up, uphill pedaling. You can reach the descents on your own force, but uh, it's really clearly focused on descending, precision, stiffness, and uh, basically speed. What we also have new in the Tricon lineup is a 29-inch wheel version of the Tricon XM1550. It's got a 30-spoke swell, so we wanted to make a really stiff 29-inch wheel set to uh, solve, sort of solve the problem of soft and flexy, what was a lot of criticism, uh, 29er wheels. It's a wheel set with 26 mil wide uh, tubeless rim as well, so it caters to cross-country and more aggressive cross-country riders. Uh, a little bit into all mountain use as well. So it should be a nice really uh, add addition to any trail and XC29er bike. Yeah, that's interesting because something I'm hearing a lot at um, this year's Eurobike is much more adoption of 29ers in, in Europe and also people riding them harder. You know, there's a big difference between riding down a big rock strewn alpine trail and just riding around the woods. So you're responding to that need. Of course, yeah, we felt that uh, while European riders adopted 29-inch technology, they also take their bikes and ride the trails they've ridden before. So that includes alpine stuff, and it's not just smooth, buffed out XC trails. So uh, we felt with the first system wheel we introduced in 29-inch size, we need to cater for that use as well. So to keep these riders happy and smiling on the trail. And while we're on the subject of 29ers, you've got new 29er forks as well. So let's go and take a look at those. Marco, we were just talking about the need for stiffer, better steering um, components for 29er mountain bikes. And that looks like something you're addressing here with these forks. Yeah, indeed we are. Uh, we have brought uh, our torsion box magnesium lower technology with a hollow arch, creating a really stiff lower magnesium part into the 29er fork segment. So this is brand new for 2012, a 29er magnesium fork lineup 
There is different versions. We start for a, with a race weight light fork, the XMM100, with carbon tapered crown steering unit. It's a 1540 grams for a very stiff, competitive uh, racing fork. And that goes all the way up to the XMM120 version with 15 mil dropouts, new alloy RWS lever, and uh, single shot damping, which is a little bit simpler, also more affordable. We have a uh, tapered and internate steer options in aluminum, and uh, that should keep all the riders happy and smiling, even in the 29 inch uh, sector. It, it felt at Eurobike last year like the European market was skeptical about 29ers. Are you seeing it taking off now? Uh, we feel it takes off for sure, yeah. It's also got a lot to do with the racers, all the top riders from uh, Scott Swiss Power, Merida, that we sponsor. They ride and uh, race and win uh, 29er bikes, or win on 29er bikes, sorry. So uh, obviously there are followers and uh, adopters, and uh, which is great because I think it's, uh, it's really technology that helps to bring more people on trails and uh, sooner or later they will race and uh, use our high-end products. Marco, thank you very much. Thank you, Bike Raider, and I uh, hope you enjoy the, the virtual booth at DT Swiss. <laughs> So that's new forks and wheels from DT Swiss here at the Eurobike Show in Friedrichshafen, Germany. I'm John Stevenson from BikeRadar.com and we'll have more new gear and new bikes from Eurobike over the next couple of days.